New at 5, this is the official first day on the job for new Grady County District Attorney Jason Hicks. Well, we told you last week how his predecessor waited until the final days of his term to file charges in several cases. Our Ed Murray has just returned from Chickasha where he talked to Hicks about how he's going to handle all those cases. Well, Amanda, those charges range from a highway patrolman accused of concealing stolen property to charges of child neglect to illegal voting. Hicks told us last week that he would have preferred that the filing of charges could have waited a few days until he took office, especially since several dated back to April. Hi, Jason Hicks. You saw them swear. Jason Hicks didn't have long to enjoy his swearing-in ceremony. Those leftover cases were waiting for him in the Grady County Courthouse on day one. We'll move forward with those cases and prosecute them just as if we filed them. Uh, you know, there may be some amendments or whatnot in a few of those cases, but we're going to look at each case on an individual basis and, and move forward. The clock hadn't struck noon before Hicks was already on one of those cases. Dennis and Laura Meyer pleading not guilty to felony charges of voting twice in a Tuttle Library tax election. Once by absentee, then later at their regular voting place. The judge released them on a personal recognizance bond. You have to knowingly um, vote illegally, and so uh, my clients don't believe they voted illegally. Does this whole situation caught your clients by surprise? Absolutely. They were uh, in San Antonio at the uh, Alamo Bowl, as, I, as was I, and we heard that it had been filed, and so we made arrangements to come up and appear voluntarily after uh, they got back. There's another element to this case. The Myers were big supporters of Jason Hicks. They had campaign signs all up and down in front of their property here on the main road into Tuttle. And that fact has raised a few eyebrows here in Grady County. Sure. And uh, that's... Uh, that's what it appears. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. There will probably be a few cases that I end up having to disqualify from because of uh, certain issues that may arise. You know, supporters of mine uh, that may be charged, and but that's that's uh, those issues we'll be looking at uh, over the next couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, Hicks told the judge today he will step down from the Myers case and turn it over to another DA. He did tell me his office has all the options on how to handle these cases from full prosecution to probation to, in extreme cases, dismissal. Amanda? All right, Ed. Now, Hicks' office also took action today on another of those cases filed last week. Casey DeVerney is charged in the April death of a seven-month-old boy. Well, the charges remain, but a judge granted the DA's request to withdraw a warrant against her. That means, for now, she will not have to turn herself in.